Hi guys, it's John here and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to revisit the old Twitchbot series. I am completely stripping back all the old videos and restarting them. Um, just because there are a few bits of confusion with the Twitchbot series, it's majorly out of date. A few things have changed and I just want to get everything sorted and simple so there's a video every day and so everything's good and dandy. So, without further ado, first thing you want to do is what this video, well I'm going to explain what this video will show you basically, is um, it's going to be a video on how to make a Twitch chatbot which will respond to messages, uh, messages like exclamation mark, um, links, stuff like that, and it will, the end game is going to be a point system, a link system, the full lot, everything sorted so that you can have your own custom Twitch bot which talks. So first of all, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go to mirc.org and download mirc. There will be a link in the description for that. Um, please use my AdFi link. It is a way for me to make a little bit of money from these videos. Um, so yeah, go to mirc and download it. And then once you've downloaded it, you need to open it up and you'll come to a screen like this. Um, you can register if you want, although the free trial is perfectly okay. Once you've done that, you need to click on here, on file, and you need to click select, I mean, sorry, connect. And in here, we're going to put our nickname. Now, we don't need a nickname just yet. We're, first of all, going to go to our Google Chrome. Here we go. And we're going to make a new account, which our bot is going to be doing. So this is the channel which our bot is going to be using. So I'm going to call mine at that chatbot. Uh, I've got my password in, I need an email address, so I'll just fill this out, and once you've made your account, you can be doing this at the same time too. So now I've inputted all the details, I've made myself a new email address called thatchatbot at gmail.com, and I've loaded the capture. We can sign up for a new Twitch account, and we'll save our password. Now what I want to do is I want to go to channel, sorry I think it's on dashboard actually. Uh, Uh, maybe you don't have to verify your account anymore. Apparently not. Okay, so what the next step to do is we can minimize that. And we're going to put in our nickname here that chat bot. Because that's the name of our bot. We're going to leave it like that. And we're going to then click on servers below here. We're going to click add. We need a server description. So we're going to call this that chat bot. The IRC server is irc.twitch.tv like so. I want to put in the description actually Twitch just in case we use multiple channels. For our bot, uh, the group we put TMI, and the password is your OAuth key. To find your OAuth key, you go to your Twitch channel, and you go to your dashboard. In fact, no, you don't do that. Sorry, you go on uh, Twitch OAuth key. There we go. So you go to twitchapps.com forward slash TMI and it will come up with this. You click connect with Twitch. There will be a link to this in the description. Uh, you click authorize when it's on your channel and here's your OAuth key. So we can copy this and we'll paste that into our password option here. So click add. Select that. So you can see it selected it here, the server TMI Twitch. And we're also going to put in the alternative as well, that chat bot. Then we can click connect, and it should connect to the Twitch servers. Click allow access, and we are good to go. So now that this is connected to the Twitch servers, we now need it to join a channel. Because if you look currently, well, it's not we've not specified which channel we want it to join. And I want it to join my main channel, which, for those of you who watch my stream, uh, you should know it's twitch.tv forward slash crontv. I'm going to pop out the chat just for the purpose of this video. And we can see that the, 
there's no one in the viewer list. So we need to add it to the viewer list. So to do that, once this pops up, we need to do hashtag cron TV. So that's the name of my channel. So a hashtag before your channel name, click join, and it will join in there. And you can type hi in here, and it'll pop up in there like so. I'm gonna, first of all, mod this channel. But of course I can't do that yet because I'm logged into my channel on Twitch. So we can now log out of our channel on Twitch. And we can log in to our main channel on Twitch. So I've logged into my main channel on my other screen. I'm going to refresh this. Type hello. So I can see. I need to log in actually. There we go. And we are going to op this user. So, so they are now opt in this room. And you'll eventually see that this does become a they'll become an at symbol before this. And the at symbol before the message means that they are opt. So that's fairly straightforward. So now that we've connected our bot up, we can start with some commands. And basically for this video, I just wanted to prove to show you guys how to connect to the chat servers. In the next video, we're going to actually show how to do a basic command which greets all the new viewers. So in the next video, I'll show you guys how to do that. See you next time.